interesting night for you. And I want to start with your cousin, Diego, who's fighting coming up. He's had a little rough couple of years trying to make weight, had a couple of fights canceled. What do you want to see out of him tonight? I, I need to see uh, discipline, uh, first and foremost. Uh, Diego has had a, a couple of problems, but uh, um, issues. Um, I don't know if they're personal. I don't know if they're just him not uh, uh, being uh, disciplined or dedicated. But I think in this fight here, we're going to see a Diego who is, uh, who is ready to uh, step up and uh, I want to see him you know fight for a world title uh, sooner than later I think this by the end of this year I think we're seeing uh, a Diego De La Hoya who can uh, step it up and fight for that world title All right, at the top of this card is Jaime Munguia who's defending his title once again at 154 pounds he's been successful over the last year since bursting onto the US scene but there are some changes I think you want to see in him when you see him tonight absolutely I mean look he's he's been with Robert Alcazar who's my old ex-trainer uh, uh, from the Olympic days uh, back in 1992. Uh, he has him moving on his toes, he has him uh, moving his head more, throwing more combinations, snapping his jab out there more. So I actually want to see a knockout. I want to see him go out there and take care of business. Um, I think Munguia is a guy who uh, um, in the past has had a little trouble with his weight. He now has a nutritionist, he now has doctors around him who are taking care of his, uh, his nutrition. Uh, he feels great, he feels strong. He has a great team, a great corner. I think uh, I think it's time for Munguia to go out there and just knock his opponents out. May 4th, we're going to see Canelo Alvarez back in the ring. Another title unification fight against Daniel Jacobs. You've been in Canelo's camp. What have you seen? Uh, he looks he looks like a beast. It's incredible. Um, uh, it, it just it, it seems to uh, I, I get amazed every time I see him. He's getting better, 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 and better. He's sparring light heavyweights right now, and uh, he's handling them with no problem. So uh, I see this fight as a very, very difficult fight. Uh, uh, I know uh, uh, Daniel Jacobs is a, is a game fighter, um, not only because of what he's been through psychologically, mentally, he's strong. He's going to be stronger than ever, but physically, he's, he's a big guy. He's a, he's a, he's a very, uh, he's a determined guy to go out there and win, to beat you. Um, this is the fight of his life. I think, uh, I think this fight here uh, is, is a 50-50 fight. I think Canelo has his hands full, and I think Daniel Jacobs as well has his hands full as well. So I think this fight's going to be a really good fight. Recently, Gennady Golovkin decided to align himself with the zone. Everybody yeah. assumes that will lead to a fight against Canelo Alvarez down the line. What was your reaction to Golovkin signing? Absolutely. I, we're ecstatic. I, I think, look, I mean, the zone has, the zone has the best product by far. Um, when you think about boxing, you think about Canelo, you think about Triple G, you think about uh, Anthony Joshua, uh, the zone's the place to be. And now that Golovkin is aligned with the zone, it obviously would be that much easier to make the fight, the, tri the trilogy with Canelo. So, yeah, whenever it happens, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously uh, a big fan of both. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm ready and willing and uh, able to, to make that fight happen. I think uh, the fans uh, deserve the very best. Canelo's obviously focused on Daniel Jacobs, but when you right. talk to him, do you get the sense he wants another fight against Gennady? Absolutely. He always, he always wants the very best. Whoever holds the titles, whoever uh, is, is in front of him, he wants to fight them. So he right now wants to unify with Daniel Jacobs. Um, uh, when he becomes unified champion, then we can, uh, we can talk about uh, his, his trilogy with Golovkin. Thanks, Oscar. Thanks.